Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Anthony and Amber in Christian marriage. Amber, words cannot express how much I love you and how much you mean to me. You make me so incredibly happy, joyful, excited, and at peace. The love you show me is what I've always dreamed about. I cannot wait for you to be my wife, my lifelong friend, partner, shoulder to lean on, and mother to our children. I knew there was something special about you the very first time we talked, that first weekend in college. Ever since then, I couldn't stop thinking about you. You're incredibly smart, funny, supportive, kind, and my rock. Throughout the seven year journey to be together, you were always there on my mind. Couldn't stop thinking about you then, and I cannot see, stop thinking about how lucky I am now. This is I never imagined I would meet my future husband at 18 years old, but somehow I always knew it was you. From the moment I met you, I felt my heart change. I knew in that moment that something was different about you, and God told me that we would be a part of each other's lives for a very long time. I am so lucky that he was right and that his timing led us together. You and I were always supposed to be in each other's lives. God was simply putting the pieces together and leading the way to a beautiful future that we are now living. So I ask you now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in baptism. I, Anthony, take you, Amber, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, to love and to cherish, till we are parted by death. I, Amber, take you, Anthony, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. Amber and Anthony, my friends, you have declared your consent and your vows before God in this beautiful congregation. May God confirm your covenant, fill you both with grace. So I get to say to you, now that Amber and Anthony have given themselves to each other by solemn vows. My friends, it is my honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Continenza. Help me and introduce first time in public as Mr. and Mrs. Cantonenza. Karen and I are so proud of our daughter and the man she has chosen to, to be with her for the rest of her life. And that makes us very happy. And we know that they were both ready for this big step in life. Just one piece of advice, I guess. When you're wrong, admit it. When you're right, don't say anything. <laughs>
Me and Anthony met day one of college, um, pretty much after my dad kicked my bags out of the vehicle. In the next five minutes, I met Anthony. Everything I say here can be summed up in three words. It's gonna be family, friendship, and finally love. Anthony, I don't know if I ever told you how much those four years meant to me. You were stability, you were a place to go, and I really appreciate that. So I'm so happy for you both, um, the love that you've created together. We look forward to supporting you in any way you need, and I also look forward to seeing what you guys do next together. Anthony's truly the kind of man Amber's been dreaming of her entire life and as a best friend I'm so thankful for. So Anthony, thank you so much for loving my best friend the way she deserves to be loved and helping her build the life she's always wanted. Amber, I'm so honored to be standing here next to you today and I wrote this song because I knew this was going to happen <laughs> and for crying in front of all your friends and family. <laughs> so let's raise a toast tonight for a lifetime of love and happiness.